From improved public preschools to free school meals and better foster care, Cecilia Zalkind has been behind almost every major policy in the state that champions New Jersey's kids. In her post as the president and CEO of Advocates for Children of New Jersey, Zalkind most recently helped usher through universal home nursing visits for new parents, along with added support for infants and toddlers of color. But after nearly 40 years of service, Zalkind announced she'll retire later this year, leaving the advocacy organization she helped build. I caught up with her to ask what that means for New Jersey's children. You know, in the almost four decades that you've been doing this work, your name has become synonymous with uh, early child care and education, um, advocacy, obviously. What would you say is different now than when you stepped into this position? Well, you know, I think two things. One, I think some the issues are a bit harder because I think New Jersey has really made a commitment over the years to children. And a lot of the initial policies that we advocated for, we have. You know, we have a great health care program for children. We have the best preschool program in the country. I think we've done so much as a state. But I think the challenges are, are harder around poverty, around race, and certainly the impact of the pandemic, I think, has highlighted those even more. Yeah, I would imagine these last two years have to rank up there as among the most difficult for, for you and your team, just in combating a lot of the hurdles that our kids have faced. Yes, it's, it's certainly been a challenge, but I think that you know, we've had support from the federal government, which has been helpful, and we've had great leadership in the state to help us navigate through this. I mean, obviously, we could run through the gamut of the number of issues that you've pushed forward, the number of times you've um, gone before the state Supreme Court. What would you say, though, Seal, is still left out there that you want to see done before you retire um, and what you're really concerned about? So, you know, I think that I'd like to see the promise of preschool met. You know, in 2008, when the state passed the School Funding Reform Act, it was universal preschool. We're getting closer. We have a huge investment, but we're not there yet. I'm a firm believer in the importance of early education. Uh, I'd like to see the program fully implemented. I also think we could do a lot more to coordinate services for children and families more effectively. Uh, whether on the state level or on the community level. Um, this past 18 months, we've made a commitment to developing a parent leadership council, and we've heard from parents across the state about their problems in actually accessing services. And it's highlighted for me that you can advocate and achieve policy wins, but how they're carried out and reach families directly is another story. I, I think that that's on my wish list, has been on my wish list for a long time. Seal, you began your work as a caseworker uh, with what we used to call DIFUS. Uh, that name has changed since then. But I wonder how that's influenced how you've gone about some of these dogged fights and particularly your work in the foster care environment. So I, I think it has had a huge influence on my life in general. And by the way, I go so far back that when I worked there, it was the Bureau of Children's Services. Um, I think I worked there for almost 12 years. Um, and it was at the time that the country actually was waking up to the fact that the child abuse and neglect reporting laws had brought thousands of children into foster care and left them there. And it was frustrating and tragic to see child after child who was basically abandoned in foster care with no plans for their future. So that issue of permanency that every child needed, deserved, had the right to a permanent home has really been a, a driving force in what I've done. It certainly brought me to law school because after reading case after case of children in the same position, my reaction was there has to be a better way. Why should kids suffer one at a time for laws that could be better? Um, and that's how I started on my journey. I was fortunate enough while I was still in law school in my last semester to wind up at ACNJ. It truly was a gift. I've been privileged to be able to work here. Cecilia Zalkind, uh, we'll certainly miss your insight uh, in our reporting, but we wish you the best of luck and congratulations on your retirement. Thank you, Brianna. Appreciate it.